everybody, on this feast, September 8th, is the birth of Mary. Romans chapter 8. Brothers and sisters, we know that all things work for good for those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. For those he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, so that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. And so they said, studies have shown that people who have more birthdays actually live longer. The ancient Romans were the first to celebrate birthdays for the common man, but just the men, but just for the, just the men. So just to celebrate birthdays of ordinary people, women, they get their birthdays celebrated, sorry. The prevailing opinion seems to be that Romans were the first civilization to celebrate birthdays for non-religious figures. Well, today we celebrate a birthday for a religious figure in the church calendar. There's only three birthdays that we celebrate. Jesus, okay, Christmas, of course, John the Baptist, his birthday, and the Virgin Mary. Hmm? And we celebrate a great day because through her, God chose her, predestined her, for all things work together for the good, through our salvation. So on this birthday of Mary, I have a good friend, Father Frank Zamet. He celebrates his birthday. Well, I wish we would have a spe special blessing to him, great servant of God that he is. And so I hope you can celebrate today some small fashion, treat yourself to some little delicacy, some sort of treat, to celebrate the birth of Mary. And we'd like Mary may be the servant of the Lord. God bless you.